Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Photoshop CS6 and I'm going to be talking about layers for beginners. So understanding what layers are and how to use them within Photoshop is a very key component in being able to really understand and utilize Photoshop to its fullest capability. So first off, what is a layer? A layer is something that you're putting an object on. It is a piece of the puzzle that is all put together to make your finishing composition. In order to figure out where a layer is, you need to click over here on the right hand side. As you see here, I have my layers panel open. I can click and drag it anywhere I want on the screen there, but I'm going to leave it right there. Under the layers panel, you will see a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to go through that now. These things here that says layer zero, and then I have a text layer, and then I have an image layer that I have that Photoshop icon on. These are separate layers. I can move these by clicking and holding and dragging them around. So I can click and hold a layer and drag it above or below other layers just like that by just clicking on them and dragging them down I can lock a layer so that way it cannot be moved by clicking the lock button here so now I can go over here and try to move it all around and it's gonna say could not move because this layer is locked so if you wanna make sure you're working with a lot of small and intricate shapes lock the layers up so you don't move them around once you have them aligned and you can unlock a layer as simple as clicking on the unlock button now some other things you can do with layers here just the simple task is you can hide a layer so if you want to see what the project will look like without a specific layer click the eye icon right beside the layer so there will be a little eyeball or eye icon there beside to the left of the layer click on that and as you see here on the project that image has gone away now this is not deleting the layer this is just hiding it so you can see what it looks like without that layer visible now if I do want to delete a layer it is as simple as clicking and holding and then dragging it all the way down to the trash can or if I wanted to I could even right click that layer and then go over to delete layer that's how you would remove or delete a layer in Photoshop now if I want to rename my layer all I have to do is double click right there on the text and then I can rename that layer by typing in the correct title and then selecting off that is how you rename a layer now if you have a layer that you want to duplicate or if you want to copy and paste the same layer you can go and click right click on the layer just like that and then go up to duplicate layer it'll ask you what do you want to title this layer I'm gonna say photocopy that's fine and then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK now as you see here you can make it into this current document or you could even create a new document and copy that layer over that's a feature that was just added in CS6 great great feature so I'm gonna click OK and now as you see over here in my layer panel that has now been duplicated and I have two of those layers now you can also look here as I right click on a layer I can do all sorts of things I can give it a color label so that way if you have a bunch of different layers on the side there you can keep them separated by coloring them all different colors or putting ones that need to be grouped together in the same color alright so if I also right click on a layer I'll be able to see the blending options I'll be able to create a clipping mask and I'll be able to do a bunch of other task as well if you want to know about any of this stuff go to my channel and search for Photoshop tutorials and I have a bunch of different tutorials on how to do all of that now let's say I had a bunch of layers that needed to fit under the same folder I can actually click and hold a layer and then drag it on top of another layer okay and I can create a folder so if I go down here and I see this option here that says folder I click on that folder and that'll be group one okay now I can go here and drag the layers that I want to be in that group in that group that way I can go ahead and minimize that group and it kind of declutterizes the layer panel over here if you have tons of layers that you are working with and the more and more you work with Photoshop you will see 
you will have more and more layers. Now, if you want to add a new layer, it is as simple as going down to the bottom of the Layers panel and clicking on the Create New Layer option. It looks like a little page that has a little page turn on the corner there. Click that, and that will create a new layer. Or you can right-click here and then Create New Layer. So, again, if you want to delete that layer, I'm just going to click and drag right to the trash can that layer is now deleted now also you can select a layer and go down and add effects to that layer by just selecting it and then going to the FX right here it says add a layer style just like that and then I can go ahead up here and add a layer style so in this case it is text and I can add a bevel and emboss and then I can just click OK and then now that text has that effect added to it all of that can be done within the layer panel also if you see here you can click on a layer just like I have and you can see the different effects or mask that have been applied to it right here you can also adjust the opacity of that layer by just adjusting the slider just like so and that is pretty much the basics of layers when it comes to what you can do with it now let's say you want to take a layer like that text layer there and you want to change that layer mode a layer mode is right here where you see the normal mode. If you click the down arrow, you will see all of these different layer modes. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of each and every one of these layer modes, but this is a very core component of working with Photoshop. You need to understand these blending modes, these layer modes, and how to apply them to really make your project stand out. So that's how you change the layer mode there. So again, guys, this is just a brief tutorial on the basics of layers within Adobe Photoshop CS6. If you have CS5, click on the link down below. Uh, I'll have a link to my CS5 video as well. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope they teach you something. I hope you learn something. If you have a tutorial that you would like to see, have something that you would like for me to put out on my channel, go ahead and let me know in the comment box below. Go ahead and if you're a new viewer, subscribe to my channel for more great technology content, reviews, and all sorts of different things like this video, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys next time.